Yo, 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 what is going on? It's your boy Bravo, and we're checking out this ride Skinny went on. What's up, Skinny? Hey, what's, up, what's going on, guys? Thanks for joining us tonight. So, hell yeah, man. Could be today. What if it's in the morning? True. Wait, why? Oh, I want to watch nice? your video. It was me going in and out of the freaking same thing in Discord. Technical okay. difficulties anyway. Yeah, hilarious. All right, so where are we at, dude? Where where we're not in Hillsboro, I can tell you that. No, <laughs> no, we're uh western Pennsylvania, uh Pittsburgh area. Uh, this is just on my ride to hit one of the highways to uh kind of ride out in the middle of nowhere a little bit. All right, all right. How long you been so, riding, dude? Um uh, so I've been riding, back riding two years now. Uh, I've taken kind of a break. I bought a bike back in college, rode for a while. Uh, had to do some work on the bike, tore it down. You know, started having kids. Bike got put up, kind of put back on the back burner. So it's been a while. Uh, so I'm just getting back into it again, uh, which has been great. Nothing better than some wind therapy. That's right. And you're on a totally different style bike now, right? So, what bike is this? Why don't you tell everybody what bike it is? I know what bike um, it is. Why am I acting stupid? Yeah, so I'm, I'm cruising around on a uh, 2011 Triumph Speedmaster uh, 865. I uh, picked it up back in April. Put a few hundred miles on it so far. Uh, it's a good bike. Nice little cruiser. You're uh, you're changing it though, right? You're <clears throat> you got yeah, a plan gonna... for it. Like, what's the plan? So I'm gonna do some. Over time, I'm gonna end up doing some bobber style shit to it. Um, I got some bigger bars to throw on there. That's more so for uh, just my height on the bike um different seat you know some major modifications i want to do eventually but over time we'll see um yeah yeah it's been a good bike i enjoy riding it rides real smooth it's agile handles well on these roads uh especially considering the majority of these roads here you've got to you got to deal with a lot of things a lot of road debris potholes uneven roads <clears throat> so you've done like oh damn look at all this washout wet yeah right um, there that's one thing you got to deal with yeah whether or not this did you just start this from the very beginning so that should actually line up with the audio uh yeah somewhere around there somewhere around there all right it's just kind of remembering that so uh no, I'll make sure. My, uh, four minutes, four minute mark. We might want to note that. That's this is it. Anyway, uh, we're figuring this out. So, like our our goal here is to obviously. You're you know, coming through pretty crackly on my end. I'm coming through crackly on your. Oh, you know why? Uh, that's my Discord setting. I can change that for you. Right. Yeah, well, he messes with that here. This, uh, How's that? Good? This is just one of the Perfect. cut through roads to get back to the highway. There was a cop back there in front of me. So I decided I'd, you know, not follow him the rest of the way. Yeah, good call. Plus, this road's, the, this road's these pretty are typical cool. little back roads. No lines on them. They're, you know, a lane and a half wide. Yeah, and it cuts right out to the to the highway, doesn't it? Oh, dude, what I was gonna say is your your uh, your gear your gear is pretty lit, and then you were doing something with the tune on the there. bike, dude. Is my audio good? Oh shit, he can't hear me. Oh, we lost Bravo. Yo, check, check. 
Yep, there we go. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Okay, so sorry, <clears throat> dude. I didn't know you couldn't hear me. I was asking you a question, and then you said, yeah, we lost. Um, your gear, dude, your gear is, is uh, you got the fit, man. You got the fit. We got that picture. We should put that picture up in here. Oh, yeah. We should throw that up yeah. at some point. Awesome picture. Let's see if yeah. I can we'll pop it up. We'll just do that and post. Oh, here you are on the highway, dude. A little yep. back road cut right to the to the highway. And yeah, uh, state routes. This is kind of the biggest portion here because there's a there's a junction up here I end up hopping on. So this looks like a nicer day too. Your freaking uh ride home on the bike was Go. Oh, ride home was pretty rough. It was wild, wasn't it? It was pretty rough. It was uh forty forty four degrees, forty five degrees for hundred and thirty five miles. It was a good time. It was nice. Yeah. I layered up. Got it done. It was a happy cold though. It was happy cold. So they recently just repaved this on ramp, um, but you'll notice here momentarily I end up catching a peg as I'm leaning into it. Yep. Oops. Yep. Whoopsies. Little, little impact there. That's peg. it. Happens. That's a right, right of passage for this bike, isn't it? For these uh, Speedmasters yeah. and Triumphs. Yeah, unfortunately, the pegs are kind of in a not great spot. <laughs> so I'm going to end up looking to see if I can modify some things, relocate them. Pretty easy bike to work on, isn't it, man? Uh, as far as working on it, yeah. Finding parts and finding certain things, um, that's been pretty tough. I ended up having to go with, Harley handlebar risers. Um, I was going to punch out my triple tree, uh, open that up. It's a bigger bolt size, which, you know, bigger, better. Can't really complain about that. Uh, but there's there's not many options out there. As far so as wait, ones I didn't are, know that. That are that. direct fit. Yeah, okay. All right. I was looking for, looking for bigger bars, shorter risers. I don't like the big, big tall risers on there. I didn't, yeah, dude, I didn't know that you had to punch it. And just got to tap. What are you going up a, a size or is it just like it's, from metric to imperial or? Yeah, it, it's going from metric to standard. Going from a M12, I think is what it is, to a half inch 13. So it's not too much more. But... All right. That's one thing I'm going to do, probably end up doing this weekend since. It's going to end up raining. And <clears throat> no good weather. All right, so we're going to. weekend. We got some wrenching videos. I'll be yep, coming. Yep, get some of them uh, up and share with you guys the wonders of working on your own shit. Yeah, specifically the Triumph. I think that. Uh, a triple tree video would be a great video. I don't know if there are a lot of videos on that, but that would be a really good one. And um, and you can't fuck that up. Don't no, fuck it up. You can't. <laughs> it shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> no. I'm going to take it off there. Uh, a buddy of mine's got a mill. He's got a good, solid drill press. You know, something to make sure it's it's done correctly. Yeah. Adjustable speed drill press, right? The right tool for the job, not your uh, no, no you porter don't. cable freaking drill with some vice grips and a rag. Yeah, that's got, that's the wrong tool. He's got a lathe too, so if I ever need to do anything else, a metal lathe, yeah, and a mill, yeah. He does a lot of he does a lot of shit. Fucking make your own riser. Holy moly! Considered it. You did? Yeah. Well, yeah, so that's awesome. I want to see how these bars are. Uh, 
if I end up not necessarily liking them on, liking them on there, I'm going to um, end up making some. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's, see, that's awesome, dude, that you have the, the knowledge and ability to do that. You could, in fact, do your own drawings. You, like, do AutoCAD shit for work, so uh, you could probably f whip something up. Yeah, I need to. I need to learn doing doing three D drawings. That's one thing I haven't messed with in there. Okay. All right. All right. So you're doing a lot of blueprints and yeah, doing a lot of uh, structural type stuff. Structural stuff. Architectural drawings. Architectural. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, that would be awesome though, dude. Making your own bars, right? You know, you're gonna have exactly what you want. And your own little style in there too, and then if if you had your own risers to go with them, get it all powder coated or yep, I got whatever finish you want. I got a die, guy that does some powder coating. So, oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, yeah that's good. Like that's equipment I haven't acquired there. yet. I got paint guns and shit, but I don't have powder coating, powder coating equipment. Yeah, small parts, dude. For the fifty bucks it costs, or sixty bucks, yeah. you get the exact color you want. I like. Uh, I used to get a lot of stuff powder coated. I have a good amount of experience experience with it. Vulcan black. If you're looking for a matte black, mm -hmm. Vulcan. And uh, prismatic powders. I don't know if you ever looked at their uh, website. Oh, yeah, my God, dude. So. Endless, endless, endless. Yeah. The colors and and textures and finishes, it's wild. So. Yeah, I'll probably end up finding a... It's more of a satin that's on the triple tree and, you know, on the, on the frame and stuff on this bike. Yeah. And so I'll probably end up going with more of a set and something to match those because the tank okay. itself is a black metallic so yep I wanted to kind of get away from chrome bars yeah so the new bars are black right and whatever yeah, yeah but they're a they're a gloss black so okay we'll see how right. they look what are you waiting on to uh to get that done uh, my buddy. Waiting on something. Right? He's been doing stuff oh, for uh, the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. So he has gotcha. had, so he's... had much free time. He's been staying pretty busy on that one. Yeah, yeah. When that ride's coming up, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's coming up. It's next weekend, actually, the 19th. Is it really? Yep. Oh, man. Do you think you'll have your new bars for that ride? Yeah. Why not? I'm trying to get them on there yeah? by then. Okay. Yeah. What is it? Like you just need a third hand or he knows. No, I just Oh, he's gotta do he's gotta do he's the one with the mill and shit. Yeah, he's punching out the triple tree for me. Oh shit. So, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna dismantle all that stuff and get it ready. See whatever he's oh. prepared. Yeah, and you're gonna get us some uh some content. Of the DGR in the Pittsburgh area. Yep. Sweet. Yep, we'll be riding uh, May nineteenth through Pittsburgh. Did you uh, Did you get your fit? No, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna run out. I might do that later today. Uh, go snag some stuff. Let me see what I can find. Yeah. You have something in mind or? Um, no, not necessarily. No, I'm just going to go take a gander. You're going to get a little fedora when your helmet's not on? <laughs> I need something. I need a hat of some sort. Yeah. Some sort of hat, right? Okay. All right. Vest or uh, jacket? Or both? Probably, probably rock both, depending on weather. And then, you know, mm -hmm. break down to just the vest. We'll see. Okay. Okay. Pocket watch. 
guys do do guys go all in on this like pocket watching yeah, if, and yeah if you get a chance are to you serious look, yeah he they do like crazy full tweed suits and pocket watches and <laughs> oh my like god on, and they're on old vintage bikes old vintage cafe racers dude i want to do that awesome. i want to do that i want to do it man next That's, year I'd, I'd i'm, like to, I'm uh, gonna be able to do it hell yeah let's do it let's do a cafe racer build oh you want to i'm down for that we can we can get in we we meet the style guides with cafes yeah vintage style oh dude races, okay i know what i'm doing i'm co i'm converting a fucking kz 750 my first bike into a cafe that's what i'm doing what year 1982 1982 yeah. 1984 1984 Kawasaki CSR 750 CSR 750 Oh yeah baby 55 horses Top speed of 108 to 110. Oh, yeah. There you go. Cafe racer conversion. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. This, this thing's awesome. Yeah. How does it look? Dude, it looks so good. Can't believe I had this bike. It was my first bike, dude. I'm going to put it in the chat. Going up a hill here? Um, yeah, slightly. Mountain? Yes. A mountain? No, you think? It's just, it's just the little hills here in PA. Yeah. They're everywhere. Which makes for some really nice roads to ride. <clears throat> How about downhill? Downhill, you got to gotta stay in the right gear for sure. Dude, you ever have the situation where... You semi know the road. You've been there before, but you forget about that stop sign in the middle of the hill, like what you just went through, and you're going down it. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 There's there's a few around here that stop signs like to pop out of nowhere. Yep. Yeah, Got to be careful. Well, this is great, man. Looking definitely looking forward to the DGR. Um. Uh, I'm really mad at myself for ever selling that my first bike. Things you don't know. Yeah. But yeah. I've, now it's good. I've still got my first bike. I need to get it going again. That's going to be some content for us, for us as well. Getting that thing put back together. and For the track. We're going to make that a track bike for you. We could. What do you think? Yeah, dude. Then you don't you don't need any of the electrical headlights and taillights and directionals and mirrors and you don't need any of that. We'll get a All track right. star. We'll just we'll do a road worthy, road worthy track. Bike. Oh, you want it? Yeah, you want it on the road? Ride. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. Then it's gonna be a custom or back to factory. What do you think? I don't know. Not know. sure. Things to think about. Yeah. We got time to plan it, right? Into, I got to look into what I can do in the engine. I'm sure there's some engine kits out there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I'll just map one out, figure out what I can do. Or we'll get just punched and punched, gap it, and uh, turbo it. I don't know. Do anything you want, dude. 
Yeah. It's carbureted, right? Yeah. Okay. We got to get, you know, balanced jets, get the balance carb all dialed in perfectly. Uh, yeah, it could be awesome. Oh, yeah. It could be an no, awesome project. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, man. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah, these are the more these we can grow the years. channel, the more content, the more freaking. Bring all you fuckers in here and uh, have a blast. Just start entertaining you. Yeah, these, oh, yeah. You're a character, are, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All the personality. I've got all yeah. the personality. Tons. <laughs> <laughs> fucking oozing. <laughs> oozing with personality. Mm hmm. But yeah, no, what about I the roads? Know. Look I at that. You're going up another hill. Looks like you're running out of power, but there's a stop sign. Are you running out of power or gasoline? No. No. Jesus. Just slowing down quickly. That's that's like a fucking Still going uphill. giant hill, dude. I mean, they're everywhere. It's fucking PA, man. It's uphill both ways, everywhere you go. Everywhere. That's great. Yeah, you go up a hill, come back down into a valley, fucking along a creek, and up another hill. It's just exactly are what we're going to be doing here. Are there any switchbacks? Yeah, there's a good bit. Um, I don't think I caught any on this ride, but there are a few that I found recently that I want to get. So, Okay. We have a place up here called Thatcher Park. It's like fucking rite of passage if you ride a motorcycle you have to go there you know and people make it a destination because the roads can be kind of fun um and it's a great view it's just a beautiful view it's like a park dude. you know like a local park you guys have a like anything like that down there where you have some lookout spots from these mountains uh, yeah, we've got a few spots and some overlooks. Overlooks, there you go. Some words, bro. Thanks for tuning in today. Look forward to sharing these rides with you, the work I'm doing on this bike, and everything the future has to hold. Take care and ride safe.